An alarming report this evening shows how the decline in coral reefs in Jamaica is threatening fishing and tourism. The status of pillar corals, which is found in the island as well as neighboring Caribbean countries, has been moved from vulnerable to critically endangered. Kelisha Williams is in Montreal covering the United Nations Biodiversity, Biodiversity Conference and now reports. So right now I'm inside the media room at COP15 in Montreal where the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, IUCN, today gave an update of its so-called red list for threatened species. And species from the Caribbean were also updated on that list. Specifically, the status of the pillar coral found in the region has been moved from vulnerable to critically endangered. And the new addition to this year's red list that we're releasing now is this new stony coral tissue loss disease that has emerged about four years ago. And then in the last two or three years, it's just really spread very quickly around the Caribbean. The red list now outlines that the disease is highly contagious, infecting between 90 and 100 meters of coral per day. This, I was told, means that industries in Jamaica like tourism and fishing, the future of those industries could be at stake. So should we be alarmed now? Well, I spoke with a member of the IUCN panel. We should be very alarmed by what's happening with coral reefs. I mean, I've, I've been studying reefs for 30 years and as I said, my first academic dives on quarries were in Jamaica. However, member of the IUCN panel, Dr. David Aburo, believes all hope is not lost. However, the government and citizens have to play their part. And he believes COP15 should lead the way. You know, we've had biodiversity targets in the past, the IG targets from 2010 to 2020, and there was uh, sets before that. We need this global biodiversity framework to be as strong as possible. We need immense commitment from governments to make it work. Um, the negotiations right now are, are, are not very encouraging, to be honest. The Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, as well as CARICOM, have been intensifying strategies to protect coral reefs, and they have their own pavilion here. At this um, at the current time, we have two projects that are looking at addressing issues related to pollution. One of these projects is funded by the Norwegian um, government, and it's called Remlet for short, short for marine litter. So it's building resilience in the Eastern Caribbean through a reduction of marine litter. The National Environment and Planning Agency, Nepal, has its own target action plan to protect coral reefs. But it's left to be seen whether negotiators at COP15 will agree on this landmark framework which could strengthen Jamaica's efforts to control biodiversity loss. Reporting from Montreal in Canada through an Earth Journalism Fellowship, I'm Kalisha Williams for TVJ News. Thanks, Kelly.